Happy Thursday, everybody. I am here to do a small, small little mail day. Total of one, two, three, four packages. And I'm hoping these are what I think they are. I didn't put it on camera because there's a box here. And I'm pretty sure I know what's inside. But I'll grab the envelopes afterwards. But I want to uh, go through some of this stuff. Because a lot of people are always wondering if I get their packages and stuff. And I do. I just try to hold it for a couple days, do a mail day video whenever I do stuff like this. Ooh, I like bubble wrap. Lots. Oh, wow, they individually wrap these. I like this. Shout out to whoever I got this from from in Vegas. That's all I know. Anybody that can take the time to bubble wrap these individually has my ultimate respect because why i like bubble wrap all right let's take a look here one more oh look out pugs you know she was like sitting here being hay the whole time and as soon as I turn on the camera, everybody comes down here to bug me, of course. That's how it happens around here. Great packaging here. And look at, oh, there it is. I was like, I know there's a middle piece. Number two. Definitely can't go along with this little video here. One of my live, but almost came live, but I was like, ah, we can do this without going live. Number three. I see a lot of people were trying to come live today with their scheduled events, so I don't want to take away in case there was a lot more that I just missed. So four more sets of the 1990 score tops traded. I'm telling you, people are gonna want those. I got fair while my camera's a little bit crooked there. Might just be the way I have it. I mean that that's actually like you know, Oh yeah, let me look at something here real quick. See, that looks straight. It might just be because of the lettering on the mats that it looks off. Don't know. All right, let's move on here. Let's move on. And um, <clears throat> Mountain Girl, if you're watching this, I still don't have anything yet. I'll keep my eye open. Oh, you sent something in the mail. Of course, PSA team bag. Heck yeah. We put this in a PSA bag first. Dun, dun, dun. And up first, the second 1987 ta uh, classic travel. Jackson, I know like that looks crooked. I don't know why, but it just is. See, it looks straight, but also my cockeyed in the way too. When I'm looking at it, it looks kind of better. All right, let's take a look at what's in package number two. And it was confirmed today. We do have, and it's shipped, our Panini products for tomorrow. 
So there will be Cork Kings basketball tomorrow night. There will be an opening of score football tomorrow night. I even have the tier one in the store right now. I just got to do the pricing out. I have an idea. But last night they did not have a checklist up yet. So I want to make sure that I'm pretty good in prices. 1989 score traded Ken Griffey Jr. PSA numero 10. Or I should say the ace. I guess mixing man, uh, languages is kind of like a Spanglish or whatever they call it. What is in here? It's like a bubble in love with a box. It's a cool idea. Where do you got these at? Oh, there goes Emmy Cat. They actually built this in a box. I mean, inside an envelope. I like this. And a bubble envelope inside of it once I can get into it here. I've never seen anything quite like Oh, there we go. That's why it opens this way. It's pretty cool overall. I mean, I'm going to keep this, but I can't see where they found these things at. They're like perfect for slobbages. Especially when you got like that expensive one you're mailing on the old eBay. And the have it sleeved. Finally, let's add to the Griffey collection. 89 Classic Orange, I believe this one. No, just update. Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 10. So overall today, three PSA 10s. Two of them, yes, were classic. You have the 89 Classic Travel Update. Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 10. The 1987 Classic Travel Bo Jackson update yellow with the yellow back. Because there were yellow fronts with green backs, I believe, was the error that year. Because there is a green one as well, too. And then you have the 89 score traded Ken Griffey Jr., which is going to go right up there with the other Griffeys as well, too. Griffey's becoming really, really hot right now. Um, and it's just for the fact that people just start investing and buying stuff up. I did pick up two cards today um, with a little bit of free eBay money and when I come in next week I'll show you I've been uh, hunting for people in basketball and let me trust tr tell you that every player humanly possible is like just gone up there was two that I found which I'm really really surprised I thought of a third but I never I didn't make it that far but they have not really had the market fluctuate upwards. I know some people use the word manipulated up and stuff like that. I don't I don't call it that. Just everybody's now there's a bigger market for sports cards and the product to the supply is just, you know, limited and a lot of stuff has gone up immensely. I see the 89 score trading going up because it's the only really affordable Griffey. Now, if you like classic, that's a little bit cheaper than the uh, score. But the bow yellow, that's the second one I do have of that. And again, you may see these in a repack product that I do late this year. You never, never do know. Because um, I have been picking up doubles of stuff. And for the sole purpose is that when we start doing the uh, repack that stuff like this will be in there. And I mean, these would probably fall into either a 50 or 80 or 50 or a hundred dollar, uh, repack product. It just depends on the price. I mean, the bow is probably, I'm not even sure. I picked I, I think that's the one I picked up real late. It was cheap. I think those go for 45, 50 Griffey's around 70, probably 75 ish. Uh, the 89 score trading was like 90 to 100 right now. So, I mean, they're great cards, stone. They're PSA 10s. Uh, as you can see, the difference between these two are the older PSA uh, with the holograms on top. That's the new, new one there. I've been trying to stay away from ones that have just the white middle onto it. I did purchase two, which I sent off to get re-slabbed with a couple other cards uh, that had the older labels on. And I don't know how long that's going to take offhand, but they're out there. You know, they'll get the fresh new label, new look onto it, which I like. 
Uh, other than that, everybody, I do appreciate you all watching this. I'm very sorry that the uh, Emmy cat is out there meowing at something outside and wants to disrupt my video once again. But if you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, make some comments, tell me what you guys got this week for mail, or if you guys uh, picked up anything cool on eBay this week or last week and you're waiting on the mail. Always like to see what everybody else is uh, picking up. You never know. I might be like, oh, that's a really cool card. I want to get one like that, too, for the old uh, PC. I mean, my PC is very, very broad to the point that I do have building PSA 10 sets. And as most people know, I do click Nolan Ryan. I don't really collect much past, I think, 97-ish, 8-ish, really. Unless I see, you know, like a 101 or out of 5 or something, and it just draws my attention. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool for my uh, collection. Michael Jordan's got crazily expensive, so... Thankfully, I've collected him long enough through the years that I have a good chunk of his stuff. And then, of course, uh, Roberto Clemente, I pick up pieces here or there. And it, it's usually vintage unless it's like a relic card. It's game-worn or something I may pick up if I don't have it or it's pretty cool looking. But th those are probably like my top three. I mean, I still do collect some hockey like Sidney Crosby rookies and Ben Roethlisberger rookie card just from being from Pittsburgh. But all my stuff's graded up there, and occasionally I see something out there. It might be a little bit better of a patch or something. I'll uh, try to upgrade, and then I'll usually offer the other card up. But, yeah, everybody always asks what I really, really uh, get into for collecting. Th those are it right there. Um, I do, you know, I'd like rookie cards as well, too. Mostly of them are all Hall of Famers and vintage guys. And, you know, I might be sitting on, like, uh, let me think of a good example here. Oh, say a 1975 Tops PSA 8 George Brett. All of a sudden, a 9 pops up, and it's something in my price range, and I'm like, huh, I'll pick it up, and then I'll usually sell the 8 or throw it on eBay auction, you know. And it's just stuff like that there that, you know, is part of my PC completely. Then there's other stuff that, like I said, the newer stuff, I do invest into it, and when a player takes off, I probably sell 70% of it. The other 30% goes up there in the old safe, and if they become the next LeBron James down the road, hey, you know, you got it. So you always got to be overlooked to see what's going on through the years, try to figure out trends. It's a big guessing game, just like prospecting. But other than that, everybody... I just got a notification that 87, uh, the 87 Classic Bow has been delivered. It's been here for like three hours. But other than that, everybody, I do appreciate you watching. But let me know in the comments. What did you guys get in this week? Anything cool? Did you have some eBay snipes? You know, are you guys hunting people? I know some people are hunting Peyton Manning out there. And uh, I'm trying to think. There was a couple other ones that people were telling me about in chat. M Manning just really stuck out at me. And Breeze. But I will see you all tomorrow live. I will drop the video prior to coming live for the giveaway. And I think that should be about it. I'll make a quick video that uh, that the Tier 1 is in the store. will be a PYT tomorrow. I should be home around like 3 after an appointment with the old uh, pug. she got to get some shots tomorrow. And I'll be able to get stuff situated for the evening. Ironet, take care, everybody. Happy Thursday. One more day of the week if you're working tomorrow. Make it through. Have a nice, relaxing weekend. But I'll talk to you all later. Take care.